Um, earlier I recorded a video of me playing my old towers, but I decided to delete that video because it wasn't that good. I'm probably going to re-record it though, so don't worry, I'll probably re-record that. But, um, I had this video idea, and that would be me playing my oldest obby, because my oldest obby is not a tower. Um, I made obbies before I made towers, but... Yeah, so basically, all towers, not like, not like, all J2, ta all J2 towers are obbies, but not all obbies are towers, that's the thing. So, um, anyways, uh, I guess you could say Parkour Plains was technically the first obby, but I wouldn't really consider that an obby for a few reasons. Parkour Plains is a game I made. Uh, a while back, like, like, back in, like, 20, early 2018, I think, before I started playing JTO, and it's not really a hard obby, it's easy, also, it's not really an obby, it's just a game that has a bunch of parkour in it, so you can do, uh, parkour challenges, but I wouldn't really consider that an obby, so I'm not gonna count that, but if you wanna play that, uh, yeah, I made an old, my oldest Roblox games video, that's different, because I started making Roblox games uh, far before I started making Roblox obbies. But yeah, the first Roblox obby I made was a collaboration. So let me just, uh, get the game. Uh, I was the owner of the collaboration. Um, it's called Void Adventures. It's like really old. I haven't worked on that game in like a very long time. I think I, what the heck? Okay then. Well, yeah, that's not the one. Well, anyways, uh, it's this. Uh, it was created, uh, late 2019, um, it was updated, I probably, like, I don't know, updated the description or something, or went to studio to see something, but, yeah, the genre is sci-fi, cause it's kind of sci-fi. There is no data save, a data save won't be added, meaning your progress won't be, ever be saved. This game will no longer be receiving updates, it is a dead project. Goodbye, Void Adventures. You are a piglet. Now you are. Now you're bacon. Oh God. And I didn't even spell you all right. <laughs> I, I, I I didn't add the e. I didn't add the. I didn't add the e at the end of it. Well, anyways. Um. Uh. That was a weird now. That was a weird analogy that I came up with. But yeah. Oh God. The music is so loud. There was this one guy who quit the dev team and he chose the music. I didn't really like it at the time. And then I changed it to like some like upbeat EDM song when he quit. <laughs> and then he was annoyed at that. Um, but, uh, okay. So, um, so yeah, this is the first stage I ever made. I made the first two stages. Stage one, welcome to the game. I scripted a sign that changes progressively. Yeah, okay, the script still works. Obviously, it, it wasn't, it was only like a year ago or something when I made it, so I mean, it should work. No, oh, it was less than a year ago. We are going to add pets to the Sabi, but <laughs> we never got around to doing that, so yeah. So yeah, water flicking. By the way, I didn't add much of the hard stages. Like, I added like these, I added like this stage, I added, uh, this stage and then uh my friend added like all these hard stages this is before i started playing jato so i didn't really know how to do these jumps i didn't really know how to do raps i didn't know to water flick so i was kind of annoyed about how hard this was but yeah um i guess if i'd never made this hobby i would have probably never actually ever played jato so i mean that's kind of cool uh this is another stage i made i added this sign that says easy peasy after this hobby after like a while after i made this after i had started playing Jato and this became easy for me. This is another stage I had made with Z fighting right there, but uh, it's a guess the trust stage. Wow, so hard. <laughs> I know, so hard. <laughs> also not to mention this obby is very bad. Uh, I'm considering remaking it, but uh, I don't really know how to get the data save to work. A data save is something I had wanted for this game for a very long time, but I, the checkpoint is loading. I had never actually gotten it to work. I found like one of those like cheesy 2017 YouTube tutorials on how to make like a no, I think it was like 2016. I don't know. 
but I found a tutorial on how to make a, like, uh, a, uh, speed platform, uh, and, uh, yeah, so it, it just does this. I also found a tutorial on how to, uh, uh, get it to make you, uh, jump higher. And then, yeah, my friend, uh, Top Squid, or Ty Swag is what he now, uh, is called, but, uh, he made this back when his account was Gamer Ty Plays. That account has gotten hacked since then, uh, RIP, but, uh, this, uh, he made the stage on Gamer Ty Plays. Gamer Ty Plays giving us an easy guy stage, yep. Yes, easy guy stage, yes. Easy guy, easy guy. And then he made another stage, which was this right here. Yeah, I know. So much effort into the stage. Yeah, I know. So good. It's so good stage. And then I found a tutorial on how to make spinners. These are not the Jato spinners where they, uh, the, these are a, uh, these are a, uh, imposter spinner. They are imposters of the Jato kit, and they do not work like the Jato kit does. They're not very good spinners. And you have to do this jump. This is a 12 stud jump, and as you can guess, I did not make this stage because I knew nothing about hard hobbies except that they... I was starting to find out that they actually existed around this time. This is around the time where the impossible hobby got famous. Like, th th yeah, it was around that time, because, yeah. And when, like, everybody was playing it, now it kind of died, but... Yeah, uh, this stage used to be possible, but one of the jumps was for some reason deleted, so... It's no longer possible, so you have to... No clip. There used to be, uh, working checkpoints, except they didn't save your data, but when I, uh... One day when I was trying to add the data save, uh, I just deleted them in an attempt to add the data save, but I never got around to doing it. And, uh, so yeah, the checkpoints don't really work like they're supposed to anymore, so, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Um, well, and by that, I mean, like, there aren't any checkpoints on the, any of the later stages. So, okay, um, this is, uh, yeah, double-decker piano of death, but, um, yeah, this was, um, a stage made by my friend gamer type plays wow <laughs> such creative of jumps wow so insane guys i also just uh somehow died anyways uh yeah i somehow died there but wow look at all these extremely creative jumps it, it looks like these would be the kill breaks but these are actually the parts you're supposed to jump on and it's like really confusing i remember thinking this jump was like really hard i would always like get extremely stressful here because it would take me forever to get to this part because I would always die and then like nine times out of wow RNG kill brick RNG kill brick uh yeah like nine times out of ten when I would get here I would fail this jump I would try doing it like like uh I don't know like that but I was a lot worse than obbies so that was even harder to do but um yeah anyways then you would go over here We have more of these super creative jumps. Um, yeah, and then once you're done with that, uh, you got the stage that I made. Uh, I found, uh, I made, uh, Kill Brick Spinners u uh, utilizing some of the scripts. I personally, why did I write, like, an entire lecture as a sign? Who even cares? Oh, yeah, I also remember thinking this ladder flicking stage was, like, extremely hard, except it's actually, like, super easy. I wouldn't even be able to do the first jump, but it's mainly difficult right here, but... It's not even that hard. And we have, there is a one, oh yeah, I, I added a um, RNG element, so you had to guess a truss. One would kill you, and one wouldn't. And there was not originally a checkpoint here, so if you guessed the wrong truss, you'd have to uh, redo this. There's also not originally a checkpoint here, so you'd actually have to redo all this crap just because you guessed the wrong truss. It was so stupid. I don't even remember which one it was. But, um... Yeah, I think I tried doing some like reverse psychology method to get people to choose the wrong one because I would be like, oh, people, yeah, I don't know. I don't think that was really effective at all. Oh, yeah, this is one stage I made. I was trying to make like some quote unquote hard stages because I thought they were hard, but they weren't. But this part, it just lowers your speed and boosts your jump. It's so stupid. You go, you jump like super high, but then your speed is like super low. And then you have to like, Avoid, uh, see, I told you the kill brick, or the checkpoints are messed up, but, um, you have to avoid touching these kill bricks, 
and also avoid getting shoved, but you can just jump on top of them. Uh, I was, I honestly, at this point, didn't really like how they were including glitches, because I didn't even know how to glitch, and I didn't think anybody actually did, because I underestimated the uh, hard obby community, but I didn't really know how to glitch, so I didn't like this stage, and you have to mo glitch, so I had, uh, PS, try using the internet to find out, uh, don't tell them, like, I'm writing this slime team. Uh, yeah, um, and then they're- <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> why- why am I- <laughs> why am I- okay, that's not supposed to happen, but, uh, you're not supposed to go super high. Uh, yeah, I- I made, uh, these cookies right here. Wow, such good cookies. Slime King uh, made what you're sitting on. Fun fact, if you go over here, uh, Real Mike's destroyed what you're sitting on. And then there's this stupid, like, beam thing that I created. It was some dumb decal I created also. That was, like, uh, one of my many avatars back then. Back then, I would change my avatar, like, every day. But that was one of my avatars that I had. And that was the avatar I had when I created this decal. I, like, spun my player and then, like, put, like, a, like a PNG of the lobby in front of it. And then, um... Yeah, and then it creates some beam that, like, it follows your camera, which is kind of stupid. And then I, uh, put the decal there, and then I made it change colors. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's also kind of random, uh, too random. I mean, it's just, I don't really know how I feel about it, but, uh, you still have the unnecessary jump boost. I would do this stage if my jump wasn't, like, insane. Why? Why? I want to have normal jump. I don't want to- wh What's this over here? What is this? I'm like so lame. When I leave the- When I leave, I hope the dev team does not change the music. Oh yeah, I actually did change the music, by the way. I changed it to like something completely different. Why is this- Oh my god, I, I want normal jump- Okay, I'm going to try not to touch that jump pad thing that was not meant to be a jump pad um please tell me this doesn't tweak my jump okay good then there is stick out so i remember thinking this was very hard but it's actually like mega easy then there's the stage i made around this time i had like no motivation to work on the game and i just like made a stage in 30 seconds and then just like tried to forget about it because i really did not want to work on on it oh yeah also right this part is section two so section two will have harder stages and it discontinues easy ex easy stages uh and this one is an exception but this one you have to like go over here i would i would actually normally just do it like this but i was trying to like uh jump high would have jumped when i was newer to obbies i would have jumped like like this probably without i would have jumped like this without using tip luck and then uh there's this and then we have these uh we have those uh it nice studs and then there's the stage, which I used to think was impossible. Yeah, and then there is... Uh, honestly, this is actually a pretty good stage. I actually like this one. This is probably one of the better stages in the obbies. There are some pretty good stages in it. I didn't make any of the good ones, but... Even though I was the owner of the game. I mean, yeah, but... That one's pretty good. Then there's wall hopping, another glitch that I do not, at the time, know how to do. I originally didn't know why this was like like designed like that there's also no alignment keys i thought like the black and white pattern was just for decoration and i thought the wall hopping was actually this right here which is just head hitters so <laughs> yeah i was like oh i'm going to practice uh this this is called wall hopping yep look look at look at my wall hopping yep that's totally wall hopping then there's a uh, uh this um yeah Around this time, I was still out of motivation, but it was a, a stupid stage I made. I honestly hate the stage. Basically, you have to do the wraps uh, uh, before it, uh, you know, disappears. This is a stage that Gamer Type Plays added. I should probably just say Ty Swag, because that's what he is now, but yeah. Um... It's literally just a speedrun stage. And then we have like this 
this like SC stage <laughs> where you're supposed to like yeah you're supposed to do that I'm not sure if it's actually SC I haven't really done this stage much I, I oh wait you're supposed to latch I didn't even realize that I thought it was just like I thought it was like terrifying difficulty you're actually supposed to latch but I can't even latch because I'm great um but yeah once you're done with that uh like go over here what happened here there's what what happened oh, well anyways Uh, we have this stage that I'm in, <laughs> and then uh, if you die, you, you get teleported there. This stage, as you can guess, I did not make, I did not even know how to weld spinners at the time. But uh, this one, uh, you're having to dodge insta-kill bricks. Um, yeah, this one I originally found really tricky. I don't know if it's as hard as I used to think it was, but I want to see if I can actually do it. The only problem is it spawns you all the way over there. I really wish this game had TP tools. That'd be really convenient. Or if there was like a cold spawn command, that would be uh, convenient. Because I literally hate having to fly all the way over there. I don't even know if I want to do it anymore. And then there's a sideways wall hopping stage right here. Okay, I found this. So yeah, um, yeah. I remember around this time, I did not know how to wall hop. And then this stage, it's raiding platforms. The only way I was able to get past that was rather than doing the stick out, just waiting for the fade. Uh, easy or hard, you decide. Well, okay, this originally had like a really cringy description. I was like overestimate. I was like highly overestimating the stage. I was saying like it's like extremely hard and good luck if you beat it, but it's so easy. Let me just show what the stage is. So it's basically just this right here. Um, it's also terrible, <laughs> but yeah, there's some spinners and there's some head hitters that I used to think was really hard. Um, then there is these kill bricks. This stage is called Slime's Stress Accelerator Stage, which is a super cheesy and un unnecessarily long name, but I thought it was like uh, so uh, good of a name and it was so hard. Yeah, so hard. Yeah. And then there's this weird part. And then this is like the one stage that Sim Mazer made. He claimed he was going to script the pets, but that apparently he didn't even know how to script. And then we found out he was <laughs> using the <theme> models. <laughs> I was watching a YouTube video early in the morning because I woke up earlier than I usually do. And uh, I was watching the YouTube video and I saw one of the models he used in another game that he did not make. And then he uh, showed one of his games to me in uh, Taya's Swag and we were playing it and then we realized that there were more free models in that game that we already uh, knew about. And then he would come up with all these excuses. And then finally, after all these excuses, he admitted to using free models. And then uh, I added a bonus to the stage because I thought it was kind of easy. And the bonus is literally just me spamming Insta Kill Bricks. It, it, yeah, <laughs> it's so good, so good. Yes, keep in mind this is before this is before I made any actual powers, so yeah. Wow, so good in circle breaks, man. And then my friend, uh, who was gamer type lazy at the time, but is now just tie his swag. Uh, he made uh, this stage. I for some reason wrote an entire lecture for the description, but uh. Uh, it, it was literally this. It's not even that crazy. I remember him being, like, really proud of this stage at the time. I mean, it's alright. There was a lot wrong with it, and then I d did, like, a bunch of improvements. He also didn't add these wraps, I don't think. I did, and then I added, yeah, but, yeah. And then he added a stage right here for no reason. When, like, nobody was making stages, he just randomly added the stage. And I was happy. This is when I had like a ton of motivation for the game. And I was like working on it like, like I was like working on it a lot. And I was, you know, I was just going all out on this game. Like spending like hours working on it. But I would kind of like try not to make stages and other people wouldn't. This isn't even really ladder flicking. But. Because I, I didn't, I felt like it was weird if I made a lot of stages but nobody else did. Which kind of caused me to not make stages even though I really badly wanted to. It's like when other people don't want to do something it just made me 
not want to do it. I it made me not want to do what I truly wanted to do, and that was make stages. But um, yeah, and then uh, and then then there's section three. This is yeah. Section three, bruh. And then there's this. This discontinued any stages for that. It, it was originally discontinuing that, but I re-added it because I thought that was unfair. Mainly because I could only do stages of that difficulty. I was not at that skill. Le I was not at that skill level. So I really wanted to actually do stages that I was good enough to do. And then there was yeah. So there's some remote glitching, but the floor was one day randomly deleted. Oh, I think it was. Oh, okay. So part of the floor was deleted. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, it's not really a maze anymore. <laughs> then there's fading trusses. Yeah, it's just kind of this. Then there was an 11 stud wrap, I think, with an insta kill brick wrap right after that. Over the time, I kind of just like. I was working on the stage just like, this is when my motivation was kind of at its peak. I was just working on it like all the time. I was like brainstorming new ideas, just wishing other people would make stages and constantly like, it was pretty obnoxious, but I really, yeah, was happy with it at the time. But uh, uh, around this time, I kind of just like, uh, after other developers quit and nobody really worked on it anymore and I was like the only guy working on it. I kind of just like lost motivation and decided to stop working on it because nobody else did and um, that yeah he friended me on an alt and he was like hey king remember void adventures so we stole the group and we have a copy of all the games and he's basically just telling me that if i don't make a video about how he scammed me and stole my game that he will leak the download and uh other people will be able to take it Apparently he was just bluffing and he wouldn't actually do that. He just wanted me to make a video. He just wanted he just wanted attention apparently. <laughs> Winning smile. But uh <laughs> um it's just so stupid. Um yeah. <laughs> I was fully getting that. But yeah, basically like after uh after nobody was working on it, it just became clear to me that there is no real point in the game, so uh, I just stopped working on it. But <laughs> Oh man, pretty much the history of my oldest Roblox hobby.